Oh, I have started recording. I am actively in progress with my recording. Um, welcome back to Behind the Bastards, a podcast in which we talk about bad people. And often, the bad person we talk about happens to be Elon... <laughs> I, I, what's a good fun middle name for Elon? Balthazar? No, we do that for Jordan mm. Pe- Peterson. Elon, Elon, we're talking about Elon Jordan Musk again. Peterson we're continuing with Musk. losses. <laughs> Elon, Jordan, Balthazar, Shapiro, Peterson, Musk. Musk. <laughs> Elon it Crowder, is Musk. Elon Crowder, boy. That's a horrible AI mashup of a human being. It is. It's not something I want to think about. I want to wipe that out of my brain. No, no, no. I I want that to be secondhand news. Mm, Wait. No no, 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 no context for that. I I guess we're we're not, we're not, are we still, we're not doing, if you guys listen to the, 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 I guess it's a DJ group, Fleet (sighs) Mac Wood. I don't know what you call them. But they they do like, you know, fucking dance. Wait, this isn't a joke. This is really true. No, no, yeah, Fleet Mac would. They do like they they're like a touring act. They do like shows and shit where it'll be like an hour or two hours, and, and they're like they're all like beats that are made up of like cut up and mixed up Fleetwood Mac songs. Like it kind of it fucking slaps. I like find yourself cannot, some Fleet Mac would and listen to it. Wait, I am not yeah. exaggerating, joking, they, hyperbole. I will be listening to that as soon as we're done. Oh, you you're you're gonna like it a lot. It fucking it's some of the best stuff. I I do it for writing um a lot. Uh, it's good to work out too. Oh yeah, good to do yard work too. Yeah, good to good to you know uh, make love and fun with uh, all that all that good stuff. All that good You're good stuff. You know, in case you're out macking. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, do do do. Looking out my front door at these Elon Musk. At this Elon Musk shit. Are we, so, are we switching to CCR? Uh, when we, <laughs> yeah, you know what? This, this episode, it's all Creedence, oh, baby. God. Um, <laughs> not a, not yeah, a Creedence that's fan, fine. Cody? That's, that's fine. fine. How do you feel about the Eagles? Same. How do you feel about what? Uh, the I Eagles. The I think, I think uh, CCR is fine. I mean, fine. I've never heard of a more fortunate See? son than Elon Musk. Mm. Oh, oh, there we go. We're Shit. in business now, Wrong. baby. Hell yeah. Solid. There we go. Uh, perfect. So um, when we left off, our hero had decided to prevent Twitter from paying its janitors for work that they had already provided <sighs> after or before being fired. Um, again, potentially a mm. crime. Uh, in essence, it quickly became clear to Killian, uh, who's the person who replaced uh, the last person whose job it was to pay for rent and stuff that Musk's intended method of operation was to obtain services from vendors without any intention of keeping the agreements or paying for services requested and received. Killian's concern that Musk truly intended to apply this approach to Twitter's rent obligations was confirmed for the last time on December 9th, 2022, when Mendoza uh, specifically informed Killian that Musk had decided Twitter would no longer be paying rent globally. Globally! <laughs> uh, yeah, and again, Mendoza's one of these people from, I think, the board Boring company. It's one of those folks that uh, it's one of the people that he brought in to manage stuff who isn't that guy's girlfriend. Um, <laughs> very funny. Li- living yeah. in the office with their infant. Awesome. With the stuff. baby in charge. I'm just like, where are they putting yeah. a, Is the baby's is, crib like a desk drawer and they're sleeping on the pullout? It has to have been, it's right? Awful. I, I spent a lot of time in and around like the uh the california medical marijuana industry which is a pretty Mm -hmm. sketchy business but like the working standards at twitter sound a Mm. lot worse absolutely Um, good stuff yeah the places at least you get free weed yeah yeah there was free weed for people uh usually when somebody got murdered you didn't know them very well you know a lot of benefits of that over over twitter um so uh in yeah killian was like I it tried to convince Musk via his lieutenant Mendoza that like they were putting the company in tremendous jeopardy mm. and that they wouldn't be able to renegotiate any of their leases if they defaulted on rent, which makes sense. Uh, Mendoza, in response, tells him that um, Musk had decided Twitter would only pay rent over his dead oh. body. Um, pay the rent. <laughs> oh, this next part's pay perfect. Pay the rent. Oh, Cody. 
<laughs> I gotta read this to you guys. Mendoza conveyed that Musk had made that statement during a 4 a.m. conversation that day. God. <laughs> I just have to He's say, I, have you ever heard somebody actually use that expression? It's very hack. Like, mm. over my dead body? No. That's not a thing people actually it's say. Not. Well, he's not a creative man. No, only when people are being like silly, yeah. right? Like if somebody's like joking around, having a laugh, you, know, you sure. might say that. But no, yeah, having a laugh. It's like saying I'm putting my foot down. Where it's like, yeah, what, what does that, that even yeah. mean? Like <laughs> that that doesn't. That's not how you. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, I've I've had I've said that I've said like I'm putting my foot down over like somebody wants to eat at Wendy's on a road yeah. trip and I want mm-hmm. Popeyes, you know. But like anyway, whatever, <laughs> Elon. Uh, silly fu- fundamentally unserious man um musk's instructions to t- to simply ignore twitter's contractual obligations and force killian to breach, co- breach contracts and destroy relationships he had spent more than a decade building would have been more than enough to render it impossible for killian or any reasonable employee to remain employed at twitter but that was not the only issue musk was also making clear that his reckless disregard included disregard for both the law and for the lives and safety of his colleagues and employees here we go for example davis told killian that musk wanted to add a bathroom next to his office so musk, musk didn't have to wake his security team and cross half the floor to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. Killian explained that it would take time to get the necessary permits, but promised to begin that process right away. In response, Davis instructed Killian not to bother with obtaining permits because, to paraphrase, we don't do that. We don't have to follow those rules. Okay. Shocked, Killian reminded Davis that if they did not get a permit, no licensed plumber would perform the work for fear of jeopardizing their license. Davis responded by instructing Killian to hire an unlicensed plumber instead. Just go find an illegal plumber for Elon Musk's Crime Just look bathroom. up how to do it on YouTube, so, man. Who fucking cares? It's also it. What is what an unserious, silly coward of a man who like I can't go to the bathroom in my own company offices at night without waking up a security team. Like I won't cross the floor to go take a shit without armed men at my back. Like I'm sorry, Elon, you're not in that much danger at the fucking Twitter offices. Oh wait, it was um, because he didn't. Like wait, I thought it was well, like the be- excuse was that he doesn't want to wake up his security team anyway. Well, so I'm. I yeah. guess I'm confused about which stupid thing he's doing. So like, is it, he doesn't want to wake them up because like, Oh, they're like sleeping on my floor because I'm a maniac. And like, I need them there. Yeah. That's or what's happening. Is it like, well, I don't want to go down the hall because if I go down the hall, I have to wake them up so that they follow me because they're my security. And I need my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's saying that he doesn't want to have to get them up to, con- to follow him Elon, across the floor to the bathroom. <laughs> you don't, you're not just, just go to the bathroom, man. You're fine. Like they're yeah. tweeps. They're not well, going to murder hear, you. If you they hear don't have the that sound in of them. peeing down the hall, those are technically assassination coordinates, right? Right. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, you can, uh, you can o- OS in your way to fucking launching a drone at him. Um, very funny too, that he's like, it's dangerous to have a bathroom put in a place without, you know, going through the process to make sure it's safe to put a bathroom mm-hmm. there. Like there's a bunch of infrastructure a bathroom needs that you can't, can't necessarily put, everywhere. put everywhere. And the answer well, is just, like, well, put fi- hire in a legal plumber for the, for the uh, boss's bathroom. Fundamental disconnection from reality or even an understanding of basic construction yeah. or how things work. Well, and just this idea that like I don't need to abide by the rules. Well, it's like in this case, Elon, the rules are there because like not every space can. Right. Hold it's right. not like uh, some like, like, oh, random, like red tape. Oh, no, we got to do the government. No, 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 it's only because one. it can't. No, no, yeah. yeah, it's big. Bec- yeah. Maybe maybe like the floor underneath that bathroom isn't rated to or maybe you'd have to like cut, you know, one of those beams that you're not right. supposed to Seems cut like in order to like fit in like the plumbing and more stuff. More important yeah. to follow that kind of stuff in like an office building. Um, but yes, look, I know, I know. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. I, I I know a lot of people who have done their own electrician work, um, and projects and 0% of them should have Mm. done that. But very few of those people would have brought in an unlicensed plumber to put a bathroom in some random part of a house. Cause it's just a different risk matrix. You know, it's, it's, it's not smart when you're talking about, especially like, it's one thing if it's like a fucking trailer, like that's a a single level. Like when you're like, I don't know, 10 floors up or whatever, just the risks compound. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, a house anyway. like yes. obviously like it's your house like yeah if you gotta do it it might be a disaster but like it's a 
It's a multi-level building. What are you doing, man? You're gonna uh, other people's yeah. lives are affected by your well. Decision. Those don't matter. Yeah. So it, now, and I do want to note, folks, if you are looking at doing your own electrical work for a home project, go to Amazon.com and look up Cool Zones Media. Cool Zone Media's Home Electrician's Guide. Um, it's six pages long. Uh, it's everything you need to know about doing electrical work. Um, you'll be as 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 skilled as a licensed journeyman electrician if you if you read this book. It includes such bangers as you don't need to wear gloves <laughs> and metal conducts electricity, so wear a tinfoil hat. Um, all great stuff keeps you uh, keeps you safe. Thanks, you know, keeps Good. you healthy. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the Good work. advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sophie said I shouldn't start a side business teaching people how to do electricity, no. but I just don't you know, think it's a good yeah, use of just, your time. Uh, yeah, you are pretty busy. Well, but. I I think it's it's and a yet, great use of my exactly. time because but it sounds people need to be liberated. Sounds like it all checks out. So good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, safety. I'd rather you safety. spend spend your safety time forth. doing something that makes you happy. I, Sophie, I love convincing people to electrocute themselves. That's, that's easily like my, my, my passion, uh, really. Ooh. I mean, safely. <laughs> anyway, say, back I mean, to Elon. You, I mean, to, yeah. to do things safely. <laughs> Safely, yes. Health yeah. health and safety. So, <clears throat> now thoroughly bewildered, Killian attempted to explain that the use of unlicensed tradespeople was a condition of their lease, and that failure to abide by it would put them in breach of that lease. Davis responded that management did not care about any of this, that they weren't interested in ensuring the work was performed in accordance with the standards required by the lease, by the city of San Francisco, by the state of California, or any other authority. They just wanted it done. It got worse. <laughs> Musk announced via the transition team that he was going to be installing hotel rooms at Twitter HQ. Killian what? initially w- was initially told that the hotel rooms, soon renamed to mm-hmm. sleeping rooms to avoid triggering the suspicions of the city inspectors, were just being installed to give exhausted and overworked employees a place to nap. Though the changes had initially been simple, if unorthodox, removing a conference table and installing a bed, Davis instructed Killian to begin planning for and implementing the addition of features like ensuite bathrooms, in addition to to other changes to the physical plant. Concerned about how city inspectors would react to Twitter's plans, Killian emailed the transition team to note that the changes they had made thus far were limited to just furniture and therefore were code compliant, but that Twitter's future planned changes would require permits and more complicated code compliance. In response, Hollander visited him in person, and it, that's the the Steve's mm-hmm. girlfriend, uh, and emphatically instructed him to never put anything about the project in writing yes. again. <laughs> That sounds yeah, law abiding as shit. I'm sorry. Yeah. This all sounds very expensive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Could you not write about any of the thing? Well, it's also like they're saying we want to install a bunch of illegal hotel rooms. Don't put in any. And he like writes back why this is not legal. And they're like, don't put stuff yeah, about don't this tell in us writing. The law, no. And then. <laughs> Hollander appeared surprised and distressed that Killian did not inherently understand that this was not a project for which Musk and the transition team wanted a written record. Um, And she was particularly angry that he had sent an email (laughs) about it, uh, which is, it's, yeah, it's uh, that people just don't understand. Honestly, this whole situation sounds like a real bad moon rising. I had to throw Mm. one in here if we're still doing it. Are we still doing it? No, that was, that was good. Uh, I mean, I guess we are because because you just know. you I'm just sorry. did it, or I'm uh, not sorry. Yeah, is that a that's no, not a creepy not, song? I, <laughs> if there's a one that there's not well, that there just aren't that many that we all know. Mm-hmm. No, I uh, I I I, didn't, I agree. Didn't so he want to uh, like save money? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. To save money by by doing like, all this project. So people don't have to it's like leave. I, I, right. But I'm just saying, like, this whole thing was about saving money and firing people and all these hoops. Just the times, uh, it, there's just a massive amount of wasted money getting uh, thrown at these <sighs> projects, at these ideas. Yeah. Or in theory. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it does seem like a huge. I, a huge waste of money, or at least you know, I heard that through the grapevine. Oh yeah, there we go. Katie. Here we uh-huh. go. There we go. <laughs> How you doing there, Cody? I'm happy with this. Chugging at least along. The direction that this series took. Or I <laughs> guess I'm going to keep on chuglin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That's definitely a credence song. <laughs> I'm on board now. Um, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot easier to do this if you just make up <laughs> credence songs. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, when the city inspectors came to inspect the hotel rooms, they expressed surprise and relief to Killian, saying, this is just furniture. We expected more drastic changes. As instructed by the transition team, Killian did not tell the inspectors of the future plans to expand the changes to the sleeping rooms. But he realized with growing unease that his silence was effectively a lie of omission and one that would be undeniable and obvious once the planned changes had been completed in the near future. Killian began to understand that his loyalty to Twitter and his desire to protect the company he loved from Musk and the transition team was going to be increasingly challenged by his employer's expectation that he would lie, defraud, and even break the law at Musk's direction. Killian was soon instructed to circumvent the landlord's lighting control system, which was most insensitive in compliance with California's Title 24 Energy Code, because the lights were bothering people living in the hotel rooms when their small movements at night would trigger the lights. <laughs> so he he submitted a request to this for the landlord and the landlord said no um cuz he's he, this is a right. requirement because it's not yeah, a living it's a area office. it's an office yeah when the landlord denied Twitter's request, Killian was instructed to disconnect the lighting himself, which was not safe and which he was not qualified to do. So Musk did ask him to do electrical work Excellent. without any sort of training oh. or knowledge. That, yes. that cool, that cool oh, zone life. That's, that's the good stuff. Yeah, living live the cool zone life. Look, Killian, you know, hit us up. I'll give you a half price copy of my guide to home electrical work. Um, you know? teaches you how to uh, how to put a double tap in your own breaker so you can run an arc welder in your basement uh, or your living room or your bedroom. Why not weld in your bedroom? There's no reason not in to. In your shower. You know, mattresses whatever. can't catch on fire. Yeah, a shower well, welder, Cody. Like... If you've never welded it, oh, God, shower mm -hmm. welding. Mm. Shower beer and a shower welder, that's a good <laughs> afternoon. Mm -hmm. A water bed in every office. <laughs> braid wire and a and welder else. next so. to every water bed <laughs> this is he called wild. That this is the midnight stuff. special okay go ahead Cody. Just if, yeah no yeah that's that is they are asking him to do the midnight special they Katie. are asking him to do the midnight special i mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. this uh obviously it's very funny um but so he's cutting all these corners and do it like you just like yeah. all the fraud and the lying and the uh, bucking regulation um, for like, you know, legitimate safety, like concerns and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, he also owns like a car company mm -hmm. and like builds rockets and stuff. <laughs> and it feels like yep. maybe yep. this is an indication that that kind of approach mm. and culture might be a part of these other companies where things mm. and like safety are even more of a concern. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and have been yeah, a problem you would, you would have been a problem and maybe they're hiding it, information um mm -hmm. that they're doing this at these <sighs> other companies too yeah y you would expect this to cause like a serious problem for his other companies like the, this kind of attitude towards safety that's been really demonstrated at twitter you would expect this to have caused him a problem like someday but someday never, never comes seems to it's another another I green song oh, god <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, see now Cody's feeling blue. Oh, mm, mm, yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the okay. good stuff. Mm. The jungle. Let, um, let me, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, so yeah, Killian. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So a Killian objects to doing electrical work that he does not know how to do. And uh, this Steve's girlfriend berates him for refusing to do the work himself. Uh, she was not satisfied until he brought her in and had her look into the drop ceiling and see what the electrical system looked like to understand that he could not safely do the work himself. <laughs> and to be like, look at this. What do you what do you expect me to do? I'm like a building this manager. The, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Like, that poor woman. Like ostensibly, yeah, he's just yeah. a guy. <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, just a dude. He's like, I don't know how to do. Look, this is dangerous. If I start messing around here, we're all going to be on the graveyard. Train. <laughs> it's another it's another creepy hey man. Song. As long as I can see the light. <laughs> <laughs> that's another oh, one. Oh, uh, what 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 okay. a good bit! I just am watching the light die in Cody's eyes every time we do this. Fine. Do another song. It's fine. Caught between sure a rock and a hard place. That's not a credence song. That's part of the actual <laughs> the lawsuit. <laughs> Killian like hired an electric. It does. It could it be a credence well song. <laughs> yeah. Caught between a rock and a hard place, Killian hired an electrician to disconnect these rooms independently, putting Twitter in a violation of both the building code and their lease. It got worse. They are writing this it's with it. a little bit of like, yeah, you know. know. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they, if they didn't do the Killian tweet was thing, instructed to all ins- that stuff would be a lot more enjoyable, <laughs> but fine. I haven't, I haven't heard yeah. the word tweep in a while, yeah. so. You're right, you're right. They have been avoiding that lately. Maybe they got a copy editor for like the last, the, part, the last yeah. quarter of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the really where you want the extra yeah. polish. You, really, you bother people <laughs> at the beginning and then slowly like, oh, wait, yeah. I, I don't hate this yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's how you draw in readers by mm-hmm, irritating exactly. them. Um, that's uh, that's every writer's trick. That's why the stand the stand just opens with Stephen King talking about his taxes mm-hmm. for 1968, really laying out his deductions. <laughs> um, then they get into that plague, you know. Once he's once he's got you. Um, okay, this this actually this next part's pretty fucking egregious. Killian was instructed to install space heaters in the hotel rooms in further violation of Twitter's lease. Killian was also instructed to place locks on the hotel room door. A request that thus betrayed the lie that they were t- intended to be temporary rest spaces for exhausted tweaks. Ah, there we yeah. go. California code required locks that automatically disengage when the building's fire suppression systems are triggered. Killian was repeatedly told that compliant locks were too expensive and instructed to immediately install cheaper locks that were not a compliant with life safety and egress codes. So the law was like if you have a lock on a door in an office building, it has to auto disengage if the fire suppression system. It yeah. In, right. Otherwise, you are trapping people in a room when there's yeah, a fire. Yeah, they're locked in the fire room. They're locked yeah, in. That's a problem. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to do that because so, that's <laughs> this man. He mm-hmm. has the tunnel boring company and the car company, and they're making these tunnels. Yeah. And it's just like this theme of being stuck in a fire is uh, seems to permeate through all of his endeavors, and I just think it's alarming. Yeah. Yeah, it 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 does seem like um like they the the government you know something should happen here mm-hmm. otherwise uh otherwise all of these Twitter employees are going to go up like an effigy. It's another credence. Another credence. I was like, yeah, that one? Fucking figures. Uh-huh. It's all a real run through the jungle. <laughs> it's a real run through the jungle. That's right, Katie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, 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 Killian is like, I we here's the locks that will not burn our employees alive. And Musk's people are like, no, it's too expensive to have locks that don't endanger their lives. Go with the cheap ones that endanger their lives. Killian protested that no licensed tradespeople would perform work that violated the building code. Killian protested that installing these locks would put lives at risk that in case of an earthquake or fire which was made dramatically more likely by the non-compliant electrical <laughs> work in the presence of the space heaters he'd been instructed to stall, install, these locks would remain locked, blocking first responders from being able to access the rooms and the tweeps within. God um, damn it. Nobody cared we, is the next line. Nobody cared? Uh, nobody cared. Yeah. Um, I, nobody we've cared. been having mm-hmm. lots of laughs with our bits this episode. But now you're last, feeling blue. But... <laughs> Got it. Hey, good job. You, you're back on back, back on the babies. board, Cody. Back on the I just board. I hate this man so fucking much. <laughs> yeah, he sucks. He's a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah he fucking He's a sucks. Fucking it's monster. gross. How do you even sleep at he really, night? He really sucks. Not worried. Like I'm the kind of person on a couch that... by a frayed wire. <laughs> like what? Like <laughs> yeah. That's how. Like, like, yeah. Is that, is that also a Creedence song? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, couch by, couch a by a frayed wire. <laughs> Again, might as well be. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Sorry, Katie. But you know what? <laughs> you were you were you were talking about how much you hate this guy. <laughs> I, but I made. You know point. what abides what, by what, all Robert? state and local fire codes. The sponsors of our podcast. Okay, we're back. Mm-mm. Ooh, yeah. So, uh, between the demands that he effectively participate in theft and fraud and instructions to take actions in violations of California law that would put his colleagues' lives at risk, uh, thank God they don't put tweets there, uh, he had to walk away from the job. So Killian quits, resigns December 10th, 2022. Uh, and that brings us to part F. Allegations relating to piercing the corporate veil. All right, they're getting a little mm-hmm. bit showy with the language here, and I just want to acknowledge yeah. that. But it's fine. Well, you know, have you have you your know, have it, your it does pros. Make, it's fine. It, it, yeah. it makes it easier for us podcasters. Yeah. So I, I am grateful. There is such a unity of interest and ownership between Twitter and Musk that Twitter's separate corporate status no longer exists. 
That's fair. Uh, Musk through X Holdings One now owns more than 50% of Twitter. He dominates Twitter's decision-making and operations. Um, for instance, Musk changes Twitter's policy by conducting polls from his Twitter account. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, he does, they're, yeah. They're talking about how he brought back a bunch of Nazis, including... Paul fucking Nealon, uh, who threatens, threatens a mind with murders. Uh, that's good mm-hmm. stuff. Um, yeah, he just kind of got back on, so we're happy with that. Uh, da, 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 da. On information and belief, Musk has commingled his other assets with Twitter, bringing engineers and executives from his other companies, such as Tesla and SpaceX and the Boring Company, to provide services for Twitter. On information and belief, those engineers and executives have not been separately hired, retained, or paid by Twitter for any services they have provided to Musk at Twitter. Moreover, Musk has repeatedly asserted that Twitter is on the edge of insolvency and may de- declare bankruptcy. On information and belief, any such bankruptcy would be the result of the debt Twitter incurred as part of financing Musk's purchase of Twitter in the first entrance uh, instance on information and belief twitter is undercapitalized specifically as a result of musk's purchase of the corporation um yeah so uh da, 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 da. Oh, as such okay. applying to california law plaintiffs are entitled to an order holding musk personally liable for any aw- uh, amounts of ah so that's what they're building towards here is they think they want to personally like hold musk himself liable for the money that he didn't pay these people um which is fun uh i doubt I, somehow, I doubt he'll ever have to pay any money to anyone. Yeah, he I seems to just get away with not doing that, except yeah. for paying his lawyers, presumably. I wasn't born yeah. on the bayou. I know how this player story mm. plays out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you were mm, down. Nice. You were born nice up work. on the bend, down on the corner. Down on um, the corner, up around the bend. Should have down on the corner. <laughs> down on the corner, out on the street. Uh, yeah, up around the bend is another. Movie. is a different song. I was doing. I was doing a one. Oh, two, up around the bend is another one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, you're knocking him out. Why? You know more credence than I expected, Cody. With <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so do, 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 let's see here. Plaintiffs are entitled to an award of damages in an amount to be calculated at trial, but reasonably believed to exceed one million dollars. Uh, plus, plus pre and post judgment interest costs, attorneys' fees, and penalties as authorized by the state. Um, which is honestly like as much of a big deal as they're making here. I was going to say that's money it. For Elon Did Musk. you say one million dollars? Yeah, one kidding? million. I mean, it's just kind of like all they can really ask for is the severance they were right. owed and the, um, you know, the, there's some amount of compensatory damages, but it's not going to be a huge amount. My guess, just based on how much like f- how florid a lot of this lawsuit is, is that um they were they are primarily hoping to hurt him. Yeah, it's a PR thing by putting this stuff like, out here. Yeah, um, yeah, and like yeah, if he does, um, you know, a million dollars is like. I mean, I guess it's not nothing to him because he needs that money. Is lose a lot of money. Yeah, at, the, at this point, maybe but, he does need uh, it. But, yeah, uh, it's sort of a symbolic thing, and then yeah, to sort of ding him in the public eye, mostly. Yeah. So this next bit is they're talking about violations of the Calif- the federal and the California Warren Act. Yeah, that this means that Twitter is required to give plaintiffs 60 days advance written notice of their terminations. Um, and yeah, the obviously they're alleging that Twitter did not uh, abide by the Warren Act. They're also required to provide plaintiffs with full benefits during their non-working leave, um, which is like what they gave people who weren't willing to sign the thing saying they would like work themselves half to death uh, and yeah. go into hardcore insano mode. Um, so yeah, Twitter violated a bunch of California employment yeah. law, right? So that's this next section here. Plaintiff Arnold was employed at Twitter's San Francisco, California office. Plaintiff Pilarts worked remotely from her home and was assigned and reported to Twitter's San Francisco office. As such, for Warren Act purposes, her single side of employment is the San Francisco office, and she is entitled to the protections of the California Warren Act. Another plaintiff was employed Employed by Twitter's San Francisco office until COVID, and then thereafter worked remotely from his home and was assigned and reported to the San Francisco office. So you've got all these employees that should have been covered under the uh, Warren Act. Twitter did not advise them that they had been placed on non-working leave during this period. Instead, they merely cut off access to Twitter's internal systems until they stopped mm. paying him. <laughs> so they, they don't tell people they've been laid off. They just stop giving them money and wait for them to figure it out themselves, which is what happened to that, like, company founder that Twitter had acquired prior to Musk taking over who oh, like right. yes. stopped getting yes. money. And yeah. Yeah. That yeah. That Twitter guy thing. in like Iceland. Yeah. 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 It was like a big problem for him because he can't actually fire that yeah. guy and they um, fought with him, but then was like, Oh, and now yeah. he like every once in a while he like tweets at him like we're friends, right? Yeah. God, it is. That's so fucked up to just be like, yeah, we're just going to stop paying these people, but we'll have them keep working for a while without knowing that they, they don't work here anymore. 
Um, cool guy. Yeah, just really a just good good stuff. Guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it seems like a bunch of these are just like people who were required to be provided with notice before being let go and aren't provided with any kind of notice. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. This next bit is violations of the California Labor Code. Um, apparently the, uh, the state itself has not yet given notice that it will or will not, uh, investigate a bunch of the identified violations here. Sure would be cool if they did. Kind of seems like everybody's scared of Elon. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I, I, it would be neat to, I don't know, see very basic consequences apply to this guy. Bare bones. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Twitter violated section 227.3 of the California label code by pro- failing to provide eligible employees with their accrued vacation pay at termination. Um, that's great. This uh, goes in with them not like paying severance and stuff. Though Twitter purported, purported to provide employees with unlimited time off and some employees actually received unlimited time off, vacations required manager approval and many employees were subjected to manager imposed caps on theoretically unlimited vacation time. Boy, where have we heard all that before? Some managers instructed their employees uh, they supervised to limit their vacations to one week per quarter. Other managers refused to approve more than four weeks per year. Other managers instructed employees... Now, this sounds like Twittered bastardy that is well outside of Elon Musk. Like, this is the standard, like, that's why companies do this kind of shit. Uh, Like, you have unlimited vacation days, but we have to approve them. So actually, you have Mm. very limited vacation days, but we don't have to pay you uh, if we shit can you at any point in time. Um... Companies are good cool. stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I love that. It's one of those like I remember when we got unlimited vacation days, and I was like, "This is at our old employer," and being like, "Oh, that sounds kind of cool," but also we don't take time off anyway. Like everyone here is a work monster, and it kind of just seems like you're cutting out the fact that we have to be paid for vacation days if you ever lay us off. Um, oh, I guess we all got fucked, and we did. We did get fucked in that, mm. which was cool. Indeed. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like Good stuff. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a real unfortunate. Us. <laughs> I was going to say it's a real oh, ramble tamble. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Another one, huh? <laughs> okay. So uh, this last bit is talking about California family rights interference. Um so basically, you know, there's a bunch of rules as to like how you have to deal with like people who have kids that are on like your insurance and all this kind of stuff. People get like leave. Yeah, and Musk stuff, famously uh, wants have uh, a kid. people to have babies and yeah. families. Uh, yeah. yeah. But not to, the people that work for him. Yeah. Really need to hit that home. Yeah. Uh, before getting into this section. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's 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 spent so much time talking about how like the biggest threat to the world is that people aren't having enough kids um, that like birth rates are down. Uh, it, it's like. I mean, it, it's a pretty common like, yeah, uh, in August of 2022. Uh, so right before all this happens, he warns, quote, population collapse due to low birth rates is a bigger risk to civilization than global mm-hmm. warming. Um yeah, which is definitely yeah. not true. Not true. Um, yeah, and and definitely silly, but also like I don't know, Elon, if you believe that, should you not be encouraging people yeah. to be able to afford to have kids yeah, and like take point. the time out to raise them? That's right, point, maybe do something other than just cared. like yeah. have a bunch of kids yourself. <laughs> right. Well, and I also think what Elon cares about is people having kids. He doesn't care about them nope. raising them because sure. he doesn't raise his own children. Yeah. He also cares about so, certain people. I guess that's consistent, kids. you know? Yes, yeah. certain yeah, people yeah, well, having we could, the right people yeah. having kids. Mm. Those are not allegations made by the tweeps, Cody. So we'll have Save to those for we'll another time. That Understood. for the end. Yeah. Don't don't shovel words into the tweeps. Sorry. Tweep okay. holes. Cody. Sorry. God. <laughs> um <laughs> but you know who you know whose hole isn't full of tweeps? Everybody's Q? full of tweeps. Susie Q. I, Susie Q, sure. Yeah. Susie Q's hole is clear of tweeps. And so are the holes, all of the holes of our sponsors. There are many, many holes. I want a donut. We're back. We're thinking about donuts, the most erotic of the breakfast foods next to cereal. 
Okay. Um, yeah, fair enough. Next to cereal. Yeah. I, I was going to yeah. say maybe Hot, a crepe, yeah. but oh. no, a whole donut hole. I mean, donuts, a donut, a donut, donuts, just yeah. a donut, yeah. depending on what you donuts. like. Anyway. Builds donut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, oh, God. That's what's so hot about Cheerios. It's like a bunch mm-hmm. of holes. Um, like an orgy. So, California. <laughs> we get In a bowl California of cream. Bob I'm just saying, Twitter. we could do this mm. bit for a oh. really long time. <laughs> oh, one We could, one we could. Cream. That'll really extend the oh. runtime. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we. I get messages every week from people telling me about one pump, one qu- cream related. I guarantee moments in their lives that coffee creamer is still I, I, in the. I don't office. know what to do no about question. it. Without a 100%. doubt. God, God willing, God willing. Next, I do miss the office and the poison yeah. room. We we had some yeah. good times there. Newer listeners don't even know what the poison room was. They think it. We're joking about the fact that we used to work in an office that had a room full of deadly yeah. poison yeah, in it. They do. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Had a dog we on did. the ceiling, Absolutely. too. We did. Mm-hmm. It sure did have a dog on the ceiling. Those were the days of our lives, like sand through the hourglass. That was a reference to a soap opera that my mom watched when I was a small <laughs> child. Ah, uh, boy, we're really, <laughs> really hitting it out of the park this week. Um, look, you know, after 50,000 or so <laughs> yeah, words sometimes on Vince you gotta McMahon, get the I'm, uh, I'm low on too. fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Ramble too. Yeah, the old uh, <laughs> Ramblin' Man. Ramblin' Man. That's one of theirs, right? So. Probably not. Traveling Someone else's bands. song. Anyway, Cal- <laughs> California law bars Twitter from discriminating on the basis of race, sex, gender, family status, disability, age, and other grounds. Pilarts is a woman. That's one of the plaintiffs over the age of 40. Arnold is bisexual and over the age of 40. The actions of Twitter took to lay off or fire its employees were discriminatory. As discussed above, Twitter manufactured pretextual reasons to terminate employees in large numbers. On information and belief, Twitter's actual decision-making as to whom to include in the mass terminations targeted women, older employees, minorities, and employees who had taken or scheduled scheduled family leave. Twitter retained employees who were not members of protected groups who had lower performance or seniority or with less qualifications than Pilarts. Twitter retained employees who were not members of protected groups who uh, had lower performance or seniority or with less qualifications than Arnold. Twitter's conduct in the mass terminations was oppressive, fraudulent, and malicious. On information and belief, Twitter's offices, directors, or managing agents, including defendant Musk, authorized and ratified this conduct and engaged in such oppressive, fraudulent, or malicious conduct themselves. The decision of which employees to include in the mass layoff was made from Twitter's California headquarters. Pilarts' sex, female, was a substantial factor in motivating Twitter's decision to terminate Pilarts. Pilarts' age, over 40, was a substantial factor in motivating Twitter's decision to terminate Pilarts. Arnold's sexual orientation, bisexual, was it so, yeah, I mean, th- th- these are all, they're saying, uh, substantial factors in why they were terminated. I don't have trouble believing that, given kind of the quality of people that I think Musk was bringing mm-hmm. in here. I do, I will say... I do kind of wonder if the, if they might be crediting there being more planning in the layoffs. Uh, but you know, I, I I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the case. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if Musk didn't even put enough thought into this to be bigoted right. with right. it too. Right. I don't know. Yeah, um, hard to say. So that's that's the lawsuit. That's what these guys have put together. Um, guys and ladies and and other folks uh, have put together and uh, tweeps. Yeah, I, I don't know. Referring to tweeps. I, yeah, tweeps. That's this is what yeah. the tweeps have said. Uh, I I hope they win. Um, I I don't hold out a lot of faith that Musk will be made to pay any money. No, but I at least hope it causes some problems. Oh, yeah, for eventually them. Um, Twitter will be lying in a tombstone shadow. Nice. Cody, that, that was, was beautiful. Really good. That was a really way to bring this home. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that Cody, was gorgeous. In fact, that I'm really... going to say that I'm mm-hmm. proud Mary of you. <gasps> wow. And I'm going to say that you're a gold dust woman. Yeah, Ooh. full circle. <laughs> I just really think yeah. like we didn't get enough, yeah, 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 get yeah. enough out of that one. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Well, everyone, that's kind of a shorter week for us here at Behind the Bastards. But what are you, what are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do Keep about batting. it? Going to fight you know me? What? You you don't know where I am. You're going to listen to this yeah. again? You're going to listen to it maybe on a slower speed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, half the yeah. speed in here, you know? Why you know? don't you guys just uh, be oh. happy that it's that you have a bunch of songs stuck in your head now and mm-hmm. go listen to some Macwood Fleet. Yeah. What was it again? Mm-hmm. Fleet, Fleet Macwood. Fleet Macwood. Like yeah. I am. Yeah. 
Yeah, listen to some Fleet Mac Wood. Um, you know, listen to what's coming up next, which is Cody reading the entirety of the Book of Mormon with no commentary. Thank you for no agreeing problem. to do that, Happy Cody. To. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Uh, and anyway, that's uh, that's gonna do it for us at Behind the Bastards. <laughs> Katie and Cody, you got any plugs before uh, Cody gets into reading his favorite religious Absolutely. text? Absolutely, we got a YouTube channel called Some More News, and it's also a podcast. Yeah. called some more news that's so along true. with our other podcast called even more news they're in the same feed regardless just google us and you'll find the things we'll be there mm-hmm. on the internet places excellent and i gotta say we do talk now, about elon musk a lot so if you like this oh yeah although we do we have oh, uh yeah. limited it because we're like so tired of it i just meant in general if you want yeah, to yeah. of what we, we do got some like, stuff we go into we're not the, pro the, his yeah. history is his practices and yeah his mind oh, good uh yeah, I uh, I found I found a copy of the of the Book of Mormon Perfect. online Thank you. for you, okay. Cody. It's, well, it's oh, I've got several too, here, so that, so that need, should help I, you. I prefer. Oh, the, oh good. Like, okay, you, you, copy. you keep a yeah, look yeah, of yeah, ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you really did find it. Um, you sent it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's interesting because it opens with Neha, Nephi having been born of goodly mm-hmm. parents. Uh, therefore, I was taught somewhat in all the learning of my father, much like Elon learned from Air. his father how to treat mm-hmm. people poorly, uh, like a dick. <laughs> Um, so I don't know. Is Elon the prophesied one from the Book of Mormon? Probably not. I don't think there is a prophesied one, but I don't know much about the Book of Mormon. Is he a pagan baby? That's what I was gonna say! Oh, 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 nice. Ah, oh, Cody. Mmm, that was a good one. That's a hard credence song to work mm, into this episode. Been waiting, been waiting. Proud of you. Oh, mm-hmm. pagan baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Incredible, incredible work. Well, this has been a special week for fans of, of <laughs> credence and of uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, and also for fans of Fleet Mac Wood. So you are all yeah. welcome. Everyone else can go to hell and die. Um, and uh, if you want ad free versions of our podcasts cooler zone media apple you can find it just type those two into google you'll you'll get you'll get what you're looking for that's also linked on our social media and probably in the subject description because i'm good at my job okay well that that's that sounds like it's probably mm-hmm. the case too um nice. yeah yeah and you know uh, until next time remember and it came to pass that he saw one descending out of the midst of heaven and he beheld that his luster was above that of the sun at noonday spoilers spoilers I I that? <laughs> <laughs> behind the bastards is a production of cool zone media for more from cool zone media visit our website coolzonemedia.com or check us out on the iHeartRadio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts